Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and it's time for another trunk show of again a martingale book. This one featuring Melissa Corey. Now this book and it is called Fun and Fast Lap Quilts is based on 10 inch layer cakes. So how fun is that? If you've collected layer cakes I'm sure you just got to add a background sometimes and you can come up with these quilts in the book. Nine different quilt patterns in the book and this is the first time I'm going to see the book and the quilts so I can't wait to get in here and get going. The first quilt is called three in a row. So what do you think that means? It looks like Bonnie and Camille fabric in case you're wondering. So this quilt, three in a row. I'm sure Kaylee will put up sizes or do you want me to tell them sizes? Okay. Looks like some connector squares. Looks like three different blocks or just two. We got X's and O's it looks like. Fantastic quilting on this, custom quilting in each block. I'll pop over the back side so you can see that big print for the back. Now this book is coming out soon. It is going to be here October 3rd. So make sure you pre-order a book, especially if you love layer cakes. All right. Yes, X's and O's. We could have named that one. Three in a row. Oh, I get it. <laughs> See, first time, it takes a while to sink in. All right, next up is called Keystone Corners. Now this one is behind me. Isn't it beautiful? You got a uh, accent print here that you can put. She, Melissa has used foxes and horses and she has them all facing the right direction and framed with this beautiful flying geese setting there. So you're doing opposite flying geese here, connector corners here, piece of cake. Beautiful, beautiful colors and quilts. I'm not familiar with that fabric line, but it is sweet. Next up, we have Diamond Dash. Now I think I recognize this fabric as my Moda sister Shelly, Shelly, Sherry and Chelsea. Chelsea and Sherry together is what, Chelsea? <laughs> awesome, this is their fabric line. So we have two blocks, kind of a churn dash, and then a square in the square kind of diamond look. Just beautiful. Kind of modern setting with one background. Scrappy binding. Here's the back. So she, she's used up those layer cakes there. All right, what's up next? What's up? Ooh, I can tell this fabric line too. This one coming up next is called I turned the page too quickly, Aurora. Now this fabric is from Corey Yoder, who is also one of my Moda sisters, who designs this beautiful color palettes with the grays, kind of make it very modern and contemporary right now without being too modern, if that makes sense. Very, just very contemporary right now. Beautiful, beautiful big blocks there. Love it. Big stars. Who doesn't love stars? Oh, I want to show you this too. So Melissa puts a tag on each one of her quilts. Happy quilting. Cut, sew, quilt, repeat. Super cute. Here is the back on this one. Corey's roses. And just one binding on this one. On beautiful gray with little pink flowers. Oh, 
Oh, halfway done already. Dutch Days is next. So kind of a windmill looking block here. Big, big pieces, looks like squares and half square triangles. Great lap quilt. Again, and you can use lap quilts on the kids' beds as well. You just put a nice neutral comforter on their bed and then kind of just toss this at the end or fold it up nicely and use it as an accent instead of the quilt sometimes that they, they use again and again and again depending on what they like, right? Some of them have to have those quilts. I remember when I was a kid, I probably shouldn't admit this, but I didn't like to use a sheet. I just wanted the quilt. I just looked the flat, the fitted sheet and the quilt. That's all I wanted. But I guess I've grown up a little bit and understand what the sheet is used for now. <laughs> all right, another quilt, Merry Go Round. And it says divide your 10 inch squares into two groups because I bet you it's an opposite. Half of them you're gonna do one thing with and half of them the other thing. Oh, this one's bigger, there we go. Very colorful on this one. Lots of nice space for quilting. This is definitely beginner, big clunky shapes. But look at how cool it makes a very beautiful chain. I'll leave that one there. I just want to peek out how they put that one together. I'm, in, I'm interested. Oh, okay. I would have never guessed. I'm not going to show you. You're going to get the book and find out. <laughs> okay. Jax is the next one up. Scrappy binding on this one. There we go. Look at this. This is fun. Flip and sew rectangles long, or long snowballs. Very cool. Not hard to do this one as well. So it looks like this is a block here, and then these are blocks, and then you got the center blocks. So three different units make up that block. I'll show you the fun fabric on the back. She loves those big flowers. All right, one more left. Its name is Puzzle Box. Very beautiful. Here, I'm going to check to see how it goes together. Hmm. That's something I've never done either. That's cool. Two more quilts. Sorry. All right. So let's show Puzzle Box. And this looks like Lizzie McRae's flower sack replications here. These are, or at least that back is, I think. Yep. Beautiful. So I had to peek how they did this. Nothing hard. All fun, easy, big shapes. Back. And I love that she's using up as much of that layer cake as she can. And then she probably has some big, big hunks here and there. So here's a big hunk from here to here. And she just puts that in between the other ones, it looks like. All right, I told you this was going to be a quick trunk show. One more called Treasured. And this one, a lot of flip and sew on this one. So let's look at that one. A little smaller quilt. Beautiful colors, richer colors. So a lot of flip and sew. There we go. 
All right. So remember, October 3rd is when Melissa Corey's book comes out. Nine great lap quilts or smaller quilts with 10 inch layer cakes or 10 inch squares, depending on how you um, find them or buy them. Or I'm sure scraps would work as well because just a lot of different fabrics that nine by 11 or 10 by 10 probably works for almost all of them in here. So dig out your scraps and order this book. You can get it on our website. We will have the link in the description below and I can't wait to show you another trunk show. So stay tuned for more trunk shows from us here at Primitive Gatherings. Thanks Corey for an awesome book.